Greetings from Istanbul Technical University. I am Kerem, the team lead of IT Rover team. We proudly introduce our 10th generation rover, IT Axo Rover. Established in 2016, our team brings together students from various disciplines to collaborate in the field of space robotics and rover science. Over the years, we have built a strong multidisciplinary team involving students from every faculties of ITU. Currently, our team is composed of 42 dedicated members and divided into six specialized subteams, which are mechanical, electronics, software, science, organization, and design. The mechanical subteam handles structural design and manufacturing of the rover. The electronic subteam develops embedded systems, manages power distribution, and designs custom printed circuit boards. The software subteam creates advanced algorithms and integrates them into the rover system. The science subteam works on simulating Mars geology and conducting surface analysis experiments. On the management side, the organization subteam manages finances and sponsorships, and the design subteam maintains our brand identity and produces content for social media. We participate in the European Road Challenge to test ourselves against international standards and to keep pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve. Our vision is to lead innovation in space exploration, to inspire future engineers and proudly represent our country on a global platform. We are ready for the European Rover Challenge 2025. The chassis and the frame of the rover are made of aluminum to ensure durability. A rocker suspension system integrated with a differential bar enables dynamic adaptability and smooth traversal across uneven terrain. Brushless DC motors are housed within aluminum wheel hubs, protecting them from external elements. The wheels are made of 3D printed TPU with ABS rims, offering a balance so they can absorb vibrations. In terms of dimensions, the rover measures 1.1 meters in length, has an overall width of 1 meter, and maintains a ground clearance of 0.3 meters. The electronic box function as the central nervous system of the rover. The voltage from the battery is stepped down to 24, 19.5, 12 and 5 volts level via a custom designed power distribution board. The vehicle is powered by 42 volt lithium ion battery dot a special designed power distribution board that includes a two state switch. This switch also serves as hulk gear button that cut off all power from the rover during emergency. The system uses different colors to identify each voltage level for safety purposes. To ensure precise motion control, the vehicle uses Hall effect sensor integrated into the motor that drives the wheels along with a PID control algorithm. The data obtained from the Hall effect sensor is processed by motor driver circuit based on STM32 microcontrollers. All actuator commands and sensor data are transmitted to the MVCU through various communication protocol. The MVCU consists of three STM32 based microcontrollers interconnected by a custom two layer PCB. The microcontrollers communicate with each other via SPI. An RGB LED located next to the antenna is used to indicate the different states of the vehicle. The base station and rover communicates using Wi-Fi modules operating at 2.4 and 5.8 GHz frequencies. The driving system achieves localization through a SLAM algorithm that processes point cloud data from LIDAR and IMU sensors. This localization data is crucial for both path planning and obstacle avoidance. The rover autonomously navigates between target points by detecting AR takes place throughout the environment. A behavior tree architecture is implemented for decision making during navigation. Additionally, the rover can be manually controlled via a web-based interface that streams camera feeds. This interface also allows command execution and the visualization of scientific data through interactive graphs. All robotic arm has six degree of freedom and features custom designed cycloidal reducer developed by our team. Cycloidal reducers allow for high torque transmission with very low backlash. This ensures smooth and precise motion, which is especially important when operating on rough terrain that requires stability and accuracy. To optimize both strength and weight, we use carbon fiber tubes and aluminum parts in the structure. This makes the robotic arm lightweight yet durable, improving its agility and energy efficiency. As a result, our robotic arm can perform a wide variety of tasks reliably in challenging conditions. The sensor information was processed using ROS. The calculation results were transmitted to mobiles. In this way, the robot arm easily performs functions such as holding tools, turning knobs, pressing buttons, and taking things out of drivers using inverse kinematics. A USB camera was used for better performance. Encoder data was used in the PID control loop to ensure the robot arm moves with high precision.
The communication between the motor drivers was provided via the CAN FT bus for smooth and reliable communication. Based on the obtained results, the manipulator was tested in various real-world scanners and simulated environments such as gazebo. We used ROS to manage sensor data and operate our robotic arm in both real-world tasks and simulations such as gazebo. To move the end effector, we applied the decoupling method for inverse kinematics, allowing precise positioning and orientation. By processing camera images from the arm with the Tessera OCR engine and combining the output with MoveIt, the robot was able to interpret visual input and autonomously perform complex actions, including typing on a keyboard. Our drone is built on quadrature airframe using 3D printed materials, offering both lightness and structural strength, while also staying within the ERC set weight limits. The frame has been field tested to withstand less desirable flight conditions. We have selected brushless motors as our propulsion unit. These motors are easy to maintain, cost effective and generate great thrust for aerial operations. The flight controller is a Pixar running out the pilot's firmware, supported by power distribution board and buck converters to power those systems. A Raspberry Pi is also integrated to handle high-end computing tasks. The UAV assists our rover by scanning the vicinity of the rover, detecting oracle text and sending real-time video and telemetry to the both the ground station and the rover. Safety features like return to launch and low battery auto landing also ensures a safety net during emergencies, as demanded in the URC rulebook. For the URC competition, we designed and built a compact drilling system that serves both as a sampling system and storage unit. It is capable of drilling up to 20 cm deep and collects 5 grams of soil, fully meeting the competition requirements. After the sample is collected, a spring-loaded mechanism rotates the cover by 180 degrees, sealing the chamber to protect the sample from dust, moisture and other external factors. The system is built from lightweight yet durable materials, making it suitable for harsh terrain while maintaining a low weight. With dimensions of 20 by 30 by 70 cm and a weight of 8 kilos, it integrates seamlessly with the rover without affecting mobility or stability. In addition to the drilling system, our rover includes a functional gripper arm that can pick up rocks and other surface materials. This allows us to collect both subsurface soil and surface rock samples, increasing the scientific value of the mission. Valles Marineris region is a system of canyons through rift or rift valleys that may have formed as a result of extensional stress. Moreover, Valles Marineris is 4,000 km long and consists of chasma systems with relief up to 11 km in central parts. So we need to choose the place where the rover will land carefully. The most important features we paid attention to when determining our landing area were chasma systems, mass movements and landslide areas, so that our rover could land safely. In addition, we made mapping via the JMRS program, paying attention to slope inclination being less than 20 degrees and thermal conditions. Based on the geological and morphological conditions of the Mars chart, by measuring the pH of the selected area using a pH sensor integrated onto the rover, and by considering factors such as temperature, pressure, humidity, and the presence of biomolecules, we can formulate an astrobiological hypothesis regarding its habitability. Equipped with robust communication systems and intuitive control interface, the ground station enables the observation of critical data and the management of the rover's operations. The layered communication architecture featuring 5.8 GHz module for communication with the ground station, 2.4 GHz RF for high bandwidth video feeds, supports seamless navigation through on-screen monitoring. All our cameras use H.265 encoding to reduce data size, enabling efficient transmission even under poor radar conditions. Our user interface allows real-time visualization of both the map and the rover's current location using received data.